Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to do an upgrade from version 10.10 .10 Yosemite of your OSX operating system to the brand new OSX El Capitan version 10.11. Now many of you may not be aware that the full retail version of El Capitan came out this week and it's available for everybody to download for free. So it's very easy to install. Um, if you're wondering what happens when you do installation, well, when you do a download and installation um, of El Capitan on a disk that already has Yosemite, it'll just update it. So it won't erase everything that you have. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, it's just going to be upgrading your operating system, but all of your documents, etc., should be retained unless there was some damage on your disk. And it's always good to check your disk before you do these upgrades. Um, but if you're pretty confident and you want to take a chance, you can just do the upgrade. So here is how we get started. First, you go to your App Store, and that's that little A with the circle on your dock that's blue. You click on it, and as soon as you open it, it's going to go to the Featured page. And since this is the brand new operating system it's showing up right here you click on it and it'll bring you right to this page you just simply click download now if you've already put 1011 on your computer or you're running some beta version it will come up with this message just hit continue if you want to do a full installation now once you hit continue it'll download it'll take some time so wait for it to finish once it's done it'll pop up a window that looks just like this which is um, the OSX install. Now at this point you would simply hit continue, you'd agree, hit agree up here, then it's going to ask you to pick a disk. You simply pick a disk, click install, and hit continue. Now it was asking me to put in a power source. Uh, it's a good thing to keep your computer plugged into a power source when you're doing an upgrade because it could take some time. At this point, it's now doing the installation. And as you can see, it's taking about 11, 10 seconds. Now I'm going to actually cancel it, uh, and I can actually make the decision to do this. Uh, at this point, but that's all there is to it. Once it completely installs, it's going to want to restart, and once it restarts, then uh, you should have the new version. And the way you check to see what is going on is you go to Apple menu about this Mac, and a window will open to show you what operating system you're running. So whatever your operating system you're running here will show up right over here. Well, hope this makes it easy for you to do an upgrade. Keep in mind it's always good to run Disk Utility. Um, and check out my video that I have on how to create a boot disk. You may want to watch that before you actually do the upgrade to El Capitan because it may pay uh, to have a uh, boot disk made uh, just in case you have any problems afterwards. So uh, you can do it afterwards as well, but um, I'll send you a link in the video for that. Hope this helps and hope you do your upgrades. Enjoy them. El Capitan works beautifully. I don't really have too many problems with it, so I think it's a, a pretty good upgrade to give it a shot. All right, hope you like the video, and subscribe to my channel if you like these tips. Thanks so much for listening.